Hey guys, good afternoon. Um, our devotional today is going to be in Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 30. It's the first Lord's Supper, the institution of the Lord's Supper communion. Verse 26, as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, take and eat it. This is my body. Then he took a cup and after giving thanks, he gave it to them and said, drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood and that establishes the covenant. It is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. But I tell you, from this moment, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink, when I drink it in a new way in my father's kingdom with you. After singing psalms, they went out to the Mount of Olives. That's the word of the Lord from Matthew 26, verses, verse 26 through verse 30. Just going to highlight some uh, points there to uh, help just nourish us spiritually and encourage us over these next couple of minutes. So we see in the uh, previous passage, Jesus is... In, uh, in the process of being betrayed by Judas, someone that um, he has poured into for three years, and Jesus is going to uh, Judas rather is going to to sell out the Savior um, for some money, uh, not some big great amount either. So, um, but yet Jesus is pushing through, obeying the Father. Uh, not that they have a separate will; they do not. Um, but yet Jesus is with the other 11 because um, uh, Judas has left. And he institutes the Lord's Supper. He says, uh, he gives some unleavened bread. He says, take, um, this is my body. And then he has the cup and he said, take and drink for this is my blood that establishes the covenant. It is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. Um, and so uh, in that we see that the Bread speaks of, it symbolizes that his own body would be uh, scourged and, and, and crucified. And the blood um, establishes the covenant thing. Well, that's kind of a weird thing to say, but it's not weird at all when we um, begin in the Old Testament and work our way up to the New. As we see the Old Covenant and then, and then this in Christ, the New Covenant. In Jesus, in the Old Testament, they sacrificed yearly, uh, made numerous sacrifices one of which was a lamb, and they would bring an unblemished lamb. But, friends, we have, as, as this was Passover weekend for them, and so Jesus is the Lamb of God, a greater, better um, version of the Passover lamb. Because Jesus lived a life that was without sin. When he died on the cross for a sinner like me and for us, and rose again from up from the grave he arose, one of our favorite songs to sing on Easter. That accomplished what needed to be accomplished for us, forgiveness of sin. And so we can have our sins atoned for, make amends between us and the Father. And so when Jesus, because he was without sin, when he died on the cross for you and me, in that moment when you are saved from sin and to God and this uh, in this family of, of God, this body of believers, he's taking your sin and giving you his righteousness. He's crediting it, crediting it to your account, imputing it to you. And so um, he takes all my sin, my death, and he gives me life and, and righteousness. And that is what the Lord's Supper is a reminder of, of his work on the cross for you and for me. And so I, I pray that it's a, a it's just a, a time for you. This devotion is a time for you to take a breath at the end of a Thursday. And if you're like me, uh, even we can say, like, be in my house, we'll serve the Lord. Well, yes, <laughs> we're praying to him because we, we're kind of on E. You know, we get to the end of the day, you're running, you're running, you're going, everything's going great. Then all of a sudden, you're like, mm, all right, about that time, right? <laughs> it's like 4.30. So um, we... Um, Asking God for his grace and thankful for that he'll give it to us. And this passage certainly reminds us of that. So be encouraged. Christ died for you. Christ stands ready to forgive you. 
And you think, well, I don't believe, I don't think Christ could forgive me. Friend, look at the cross. The cross is evidence that Christ is willing to forgive you. It is. And so look to him, no matter your sin, whether you're just struggling with a sin such as self-righteousness or, or a host of others. Jesus loves you. Jesus stands ready to forgive. And this covenant, this Lord's Supper, this communion where he gave his body and blood for you is evidence of that. So you can trust him today. As a brother and sister in Christ, you can trust him to know that you have forgiveness for past, present, and future sins. And so praise him in, in this just stressful time. Maybe whether it's your health that's bad or just the overall stress of quarantine is, is uh, pressing down on you. Trust him. Praise him that he is... Um, ultimately Lord and, and sovereign over us. If you don't know him, turn away from your sin and turn to him in faith alone. He'll save you. He, he'll forgive you. He, he, he can forgive you indeed, and he will. That Just as the cross is evidence that he's willing to forgive you, the tomb is evidence that he is able to uh, save you. So may the grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be upon you as you read from God's word and are reminded that Jesus died for you and me so that he could forgive us. You know, there's so much freedom and forgiveness. He is good. Be blessed.